Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alone in the Dark. Last time when we started the game, a lot of stuff happened. We um, we were playing as Edward Carnaby uh, with our client Emily Hartwood, gone to Dorsenal Mansion, which is basically kind of like a loony bin, using the 1930s vernacular, to f uh, find out if her uncle, who wrote her a letter of distress, is doing okay. We find out he's lost somewhere in, I don't know, some uh, going through portals in different dimensions or in his psyche. We have no idea what the fuck's going on. Right now, we're in a place called uh, Tareo, I, I believe was the name. It was Paradise, his version of Paradise. And we are um, going to be going to a library that house a lot of the texts that he he knows the text of his mind i don't know but the dark man is here as well apparently and we're going to figure out why uh also don't mind the fact that my face is a little washed out um and there's like little artifacts going on i'm actually playing during the day i normally play during at night and uh, i do have a skylight which means that um there's some you know ambient daylight going through which is my how my face is a little washed out i'm alone in the day right now not alone in the dark i'm alone in the day playing alone in the dark so this guy here uh one if i remember correctly you have any advice on how to deal with the dark man hmm. i suppose suppression could work try not to pay him any attention That'll kind of be hard to do. I know you said Jeremy's never been here, but does this place exist in real life? I think it's supposed to be Mexico. But I am not certain of Tarawea's origin. Tarawea. Well, good to meet you, Juan. I'm going in. May the gods be with you, Edward de Vilvan. I wish I knew Spanish so I could figure out what the fuck that means. Yeah, so I mentioned the last time the combat was uh, kind of janky. Um, it's it's very crude combat. Even the even the gun system is. Um, very weird. There's shots I clearly, where I clearly should have hit, miss. So I just waste bullets. But that's fine. I've, I've played lots of games like this. It's just weird that in, you know, 2024, we still have these kind of problems. But it is... This is the... Created by a small team. And you know what? I'll credit where credit's due. It's, it's, um, I guess it's kind of an ambitious title. What the fuck? So the other thing I was saying is like I was when I was playing the game uh, la uh, last time. I noticed a lot of artifacting. Um, on my end, but a lot of it didn't seem to show up in the footage, which is good, which is fine. I'll, I'll take it on mine as long as the video feed looks good. But there's still a little bit going on, just not as bad as what I'm witnessing. Oh. That is huge. This place is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Why would you have a a pool right in the middle there like that? Also, who would make these statues and just leave them here? Unless these are like actual uh, residents of the chapel. Wherever the fuck we are. There's something missing. Yeah, 
And the other thing I actually noticed was the footage is a lot brighter than what I'm seeing, which makes me think that I need to adjust my my monitor settings. Because there were times where I couldn't I could barely see anything in the dark. And the flashlight was like my only illumination. But in a way, I guess that's good. It's more immersive for me. But the lights, again, kind of make it hard for me to notice detailed stuff in the dark as well. Especially with the, the puzzles, it's it's a little bit hard to see the finer details with like the two lights shining on either side of me. The great library was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hartwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the prowler. What accent is that? Like missing a lot of the words. Like Prowler is saying Frowler. Where is this dark man? I wonder if he's the one who turned everyone to stone. No, well, I initially suspected a sneaking mission, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sorry guys, I'm just taking in the, the environment. I'm a big sucker for environmental storytelling, like piecing together um you know what what the game is trying to evoke just by the scenery itself. of Huberto. After the suspended room was built, its key was given to the convent librarian Hubertus to keep Jeremy's darkest secrets safe from prowling eyes.
Oh, it's right here. With the color gone, I could barely see shit. It's, uh, it's nice and molding, guys. So I was right. Sneaking mission. Sneaking definitely helped. And uh, I would really appreciate some more drinks. Is, uh, that guy just being in his presence took a lot out of me. Um, let's see what um, nope, nothing new. that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Oh, hey, fuck. <laughs> Detective! One! One! I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no more. <laughs> So close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carmby, think. Think. The shipping company. Prext. Right. Good luck, Detective. So I was right. There was some kind of knowledge that the Dark Man was after. Dark knowledge data Jeremy knew that the Dark Man was after, but why? <laughs> Is the question. Well, thank God you're here, Detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this, I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Scrap the bottle. Go, 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 go. To what hey. he's been through. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, Detective. I, I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, Detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the Dark Man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder. If he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. 
Well, if all fails. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the dark man. I saw it in a dream once. What? My God! Look at that glittery oh, hair. Jesus Christ! Something by any chance? I do. They made big money during the war. Their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? Bon chance. Bon chance. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? No, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. Juju. Ooh, let's see the forbidden knowledge. With a streetcar ticket, the matchbook, and the juju. New Orleans lies southwest of their seto, along the great Mississippi River. It's Old Town, the French Quarter, or the Vieux Carré, is home of the proud and often rich Creoles. Wrapped around this center, you will find a large and eclectic city full of people, including the most mundane dock workers, reckless gangsters, jazz craze flappers, and of course, the mysterious voodoo people. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of Derseto and watch New Orleans glow like embers on the horizon. New Orleans. Prex Shipping Company. According to the book in Tarawea, the Dark Man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address inside. Somehow, Combe was back in New Orleans, close to the docks. He could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the Dark Man inside. So look for the address of the Dark Man's show inside Prext Shipping Company. I still have the cross. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Power cross compels you, bitch. Machine gun cartridge. Buddy, if we got a machine gun. Le chauvele. Oh, hi. Kidding me? Can you target the guy, please? Hey. I need some more drinky. Some more drinky. Do this. Shit. Oh, I got him good on that one, guys.
I don't know where to go. Uh, away from here. Okay, I'm guessing this is locked here or something. To find a key. It's locked from the other side. Yeah. fight on my bare hands and I realized I couldn't. Oh shit. I don't know what I hit to blow this stuff up, but system has a tunnel running right below Preg's shipping company. I bet I can use it to get inside. It'd be a game if there was no sewer level. Baseball game. The Orleans Pelicans against the Memphis Turtles. Steve door. Nothing else in here, I guess. I hear you. I hear you. It's just me or, like, these guys are way more aggressive now. Typewriter ribbon. Doris Key. Glad he knows what he's doing. Hold on. Oh my God.
Oh, fuck. Just run, dude. Just run. I'm trying to dodge. Why is it? He I was trying to dodge, and he wouldn't. Oh, Jesus. Again, why won't he dodge? Just go. Just fucking go. I need health. All right. Made it inside the warehouse. The office must be upstairs. There's so many drinks here. And so many of these.
Alright, guess we're heading upstairs. There's that machine gun. Hey, I always wanted to try one of these. All his things. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now best keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. Okay. Very cryptic. What, litter in hell? No idea what that means. Maybe it corresponds to the number of letters? So four left, one, two, three, four, later is five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four, five, four. Maybe it has to be four, five, four. Ah, there we go. Gotta go manifest on September 19th, 1892. Black shipping company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh, performing at Gaitin Street. Here we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man. How many blows do we have in this thing? 20. Oh, this is gonna suck, guys. This is really gonna suck. Nice. 
Oh, it's a health fuck. Oh shit. Let's go, go, go. Go, go, go. Looks like the fog cleared up. So I get how these uh, bottles work. You gotta throw them at them and then shoot them to ignite it. I thought it was just like Molotovs that automatically ignited for some reason. Okay. Oh, jeez. The address of the event where Jeremy first met the dog man surprised Condy. The infamous Gallatin Street didn't exist any longer, and he wondered if he would be able to find the right building. Was it still standing? Did it matter? Maybe this world was not just another place, but another time as well. It's very true. Be other dimensions, you don't know. It's a long way up with uh, or a lot of landings with nothing there like no doors, no rooms. Who would make something like this? Why would you go up like five flights of stairs just for one room? Well, hello, Jeremy. You want to tell me what this is all about? Please. Welcome, detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel. The Black Pharaoh. The ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. So, you got scared by a stage magician. And now, he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. But you would be the crazy one to think his presence can be ignored. Look where we are! We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the Dark Man. No can't. We would turn them loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. 
I have to make this sacrifice. God damn it, Jeremy. I'm gonna save you. Don't worry. How did a guy half his size and half his weight just push him like that? How do you well, save someone who doesn't want to be saved? Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. Since we're here, might as well have a look around. Okay, stop moving. So I see the symbols. Uh, see the Pisces. I, I don't know what the other symbols are. That's the two and an M. Okay, I get what I need to do. It's a good thing I took those pictures when I did. So, Pisces was... The outside, which means it is two. Uh, the M was no, the two was next. The Gemini, two, three, four, five. And then the M for the Virgo. It's the outer one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Isn't that where we are? Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought I thought that was the. I thought the background was what changed, like out there. I thought that's it just changed in front of us, but I literally just turned my head. And that opened up. <sighs> Lovely. So we're now ported into some fucking pyramid maze. Or not. That is an eclipse if I've ever seen one. Wow. A lot of artifacting in the sand. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's crazy. Looks like glitter. Oh. Oh. Fascinating. Not just like, what the fuck is going on? No, I just, oh. This is unusual. I do love the music here. Ugh. Yeah, on the plus side, we get to see the world without the passport. We don't have to worry about the pesky flights and people screaming on the planes. With the babies and their the sunken desert temple. I better get down there. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Or what I'm attempting to do anyway. I can't just drop down here, right? No. Oh, that's a long way down.
There is rope. And what is that? Beyond the Nile Valley. The temple of Nephron lies under our camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pooled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun, a message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumes to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. Okay, so the ancient mechanisms, it said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pulled together above the statue of that dark man, then be sent through space towards the Black Sun, a message to the gods. Okay. Good thing they saved that one bullet in there. That one machine gun bullet. Never know when you might need that one singular machine gun bullet. Fuck you too. Alright, uh, I'm guessing, yeah, we're tying it over here. Here we go. Oh, that was fucking weird. I thought it was like loading screen or something. fell down with me. How did that happen? There's no rope hanging there anymore. Alright, alright. Okay, I remember this constellation. It's the star from constellation from yeah. Jeremy's books. The Taurus. And one star is clearly bigger. It must be important. I got a feeling this is it. This is where the contract is hidden. But how do I get to it? How do you feel that this is where the contract said? What are you hoping to find in these ancient boxes? More machine gun bullets? Maybe some alcohol? I pull that. Canopic jar. Yeah, makes sense. Canopic jar down here would potentially make sense. Okay, so we are pulling that lever now. Oh. Uh, yeah. 
fuck are these things? Ew. Like, brain is on the outside. Where's the other one? They're like blood. They have no face. Ew. Oh, it's right here. Oh, they're like bugs. Gross. Alright. So, what happens if I stand in the light? Nothing happens. I don't die. Whoa. Oh, I thought it was a jump down or something. Now he doesn't want to pick it up. The horizon key item. A lens crafted with unexpected precision and fitted with a telling hieroglyph. operational. These guys only take one bullet. Well, I'm totally fine with that. Again, I don't know what he's expecting to find in these in these ancient boxes. Rocking out at some music. I saw a snake slither. Hmm. Oh, another one. Lots of lenses. And I don't have any. on the lens, but I can't pick it up. Oh, 
I see. That is supposed to move here. I think. Okay, okay, I think I, th I think I get what I need to do. Children of a dark sun. One might even say a black star. In the river bombing. Lies a solitary candle. Okay. So. Can we burn these? Oh, how cool would it be if we could burn them? We can! Bruh. Bruh. Oh. It worked. I think I was supposed to be able to get the one on the right. Oh wait, sorry. Is there something else then? Might as well get them now before I can do them afterwards. I see, we just did a big circle. Yeah, that's fine. Um, actually, we opened the door on that side, didn't we? This wasn't uh, optional. I needed to come here. Hmm. So this is the wrong thing. The star does not go here.
thought I saw two items in here for some reason. Guess that. This is a really weird... This is a really weird puzzle design. Like, why would you make something like this? This is, this is so weird. Of course they'd be here too. They're everywhere. I've yet to find anything in these boxes. So I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I'm um, guessing I have to put the light in there. no matter where I put it, it still kind of it reflects off in just that certain angle. Alright. Oh, I can't take it.
So now I move that one. I move that one down to the gem on the floor. It's my assumption, anyway. as fast as you can, dude. Psychological trauma, breakthrough barriers of self deceit, temper manic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. Huh? I'm sorry, that's a little bit funny. That's that's kind of funny. Hey. Hey, detective. <sighs> what are you doing? Oh, I found some. Great. Was it alcohol? God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the Dark Man. The who? What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. Well, just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? Around it's your around neck. your neck? Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. I worry, detectives. Don't. I'm fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. Well, we'll see. Dark Man's contract. So acknowledge psychological trauma, break through the barriers of self deceit, temperamentic behavior.
Wait, responsible party, Mr. Philip Hartwood, brother? They have another brother? Philip Hartwood. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the Hartwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dasetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands, oh crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Combin never thought he'd be so happy to be back at Dosetto. It felt like he had crawled through a long, dark tunnel of misery and regret. Now that he was back, Combi could look into the steps mentioned in the contract. But there was one thing that gnawed on him. What exactly did this have to do with Dr. Gray? Good question. Okay. Save the game here. Okay, and that'll do it for this episode. I think I'm just going to go chapter by chapter. I don't want whole videos to be, you know, three and a half hours long. Um, but uh, interesting. I'm. I feel like there's a lot of padding going on for such a simple story. Um. I, I get it. Like games are generally like that. They they want to lengthen the game time a little bit just to get you to play, like just play in general instead of having a short game. But I'd rather have like a concise story, you know, than have like so much padding. Unless it calls for, it, unless it's like an RPG or something. But this is not an RPG. Um, that uh, that sewer area really really pissed me off. That was that was not fun. Uh, I'm really hoping that's the last of its kind, but I know it won't be. Regardless, again, I'm I'm interested enough to keep playing. The co the gameplay is leaves a lot to be desired. Let's put it that way. But the story is what's keeping me going. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.